Learning Arduino with Fritzing Starter Kit by and with Stefan Hermann. Today we want to talk about breadboard prototyping and we will build the circuit which I call flip flop. Okay. Um, let's change to the Fritzing software to explain what's going on. If we take a look here into our first example, then we simply placed an LED on this digital pin 13. That was quite easy because we could just attach the LED to the Arduino board. But usually we can't place an LED directly into a pins of the Arduino because each pin supports 5 volt if we set a pin to high then it means that here are 5 volts on there and an LED can't deal 5 volts it only runs from 2 to 3 volts or something in that way but on the pin 13 there is a built-in resistor which protects the LED so if we would like to run an LED on a different channel then we would need a resistor But unfortunately, it's not so handy to have an LED here placed to somewhere and maybe a resistor here and to connect this and that directly and this resistor somewhere here, right? This won't be too handy. Therefore, we have something to place electronical components and it is called a breadboard so you find it in the fritzing starter kit and you can buy it everywhere you want to a breadboard is something like a um, solderless connection board and each of these pins are connected in a special way each of these holes in this breadboard so at first we have here these little columns and they are connected. If I press it here, then you can see everything what is yellow is connected. So here it is, the pins in the middle are all connected in, in columns. Okay, so if I place a part here in this hole and another part in that hole, then both parts are connected here. The outer um, rows are connected like you can see here everything what is highlighted in yellow now is connected this little rows are usually used as the power power connection or usually we stick in the power here and it's up to you how to do that my recommendation is if you have a breadboard like that it would mean that here is a gap in there and my my strong recommendation is now take some of your wiring set wires and place some wires here and there and here and there and as long you are are in this beginner state of learning Arduino please just keep this wires in there you will you will have you, you will you will just kill a, a, a failure source with that because it's very often like people connect something here and connect the power supplies here and then they connect their parts in in here to this power rows but there is still this gap and no power will run through and they are searching for this error for so long time and don't know what's going on so I will just say place this little connections in there it won't hurt leave them in there and everything's perfect <clears throat> so but back to our main topic I will zoom a little bit in that you can better see what's going on so the, this little flip-flop um, example there, I will take two LEDs 
let's for example take a red one and maybe a yellow one right or it's up to you whatever you want I take maybe green okay so again we have the long leg what will be the plus and we have the short leg what will be the ground so on the Arduino board here is the ground pin I connect this to my Arduino and I will change the color that you can simply see what happens here or I can just drag everything over there so black always means ground if I'm drawing something therefore I maybe can change this here too <clears throat> it's on a broadboard unfortunately not so easy now I can connect each ground of the LEDs to this ground signal so this here and this there so every LED now is uh, supplied by this ground so if I in Fritzing if I click this wire then everything what's highlighted is connected and now I said that it is needed to place a resistor to this LED therefore I use a resistor each resistor um, has his own value this one is for example 220 ohms all the time you have 5 volt and you would like to place a resistor for a standard LED just take 220 ohms and it will work perfect there is a way to calculate all the resistances you need but um, as long as it's so easy you can just grab this 220 ohm resistor and it will work fine for you and I place it here to this LED or maybe I make a little bit more space for that LED that you can better see what's going on here the power now goes to this plus and through this resistor right so both parts here are connected on that long leg of the LED and the other side of the resistor I will attach it to the digital pin 11 and the other LED again needs a resistor which comes here and I will connect it to the digital pin 10 right let's make it a little bit nicer all right so let's go to the schematics so this drawing is called the schematics and engineers and are, are using this to read circuits and I'm sure you maybe remember when you were at school then this is how electronics is teached and it often makes things much clearer so I will just show you what is how what is going on so that it's easy for us to see so here we have our circuit both LEDs are connected to the ground over that wire that connection and each LED has got a resistor before the digital pin comes so and this resistor is protecting the LED from a too high current yeah, and that's actually all quite easy and here this could be the code for example so we have a little or we have two variables LED pin 1 and LED pin 2 LED pin 1 is 10 and LED pin 2 is 11 and we have to tell Arduino that we have this both pins which are um, both outputs 
And here we have our loop, which says, which is actually like the blink, but the, at the first time the first LED blinks and the second not, and in the second the first LED is not, not lighten up, but the second is. So it's a flip-flop, isn't it? <laughs> okay. So let's see how it looks in the real world. Therefore, I will rebuild this original circuit. So here we have our breadboard and I took out this LED. And I will cause need some wires. So they are shipped with the starter kit too. Right, so hope you can see that. Now I take, as I said, the wires to bridge these connections. They are not so needed by now, but again, it's I, I just recommend that you just prepare your breadboard like that and close this gap. It's only the one gap in the middle. So everything else, everywhere else will be connected. So here is a connection and here and here and here. Uh, only here where this W is, there is no connection. There are other types of breadboards which don't have this gap, but here it is on. So now I have my first LED, the red one, and I place it like I showed you in Fritzing here. And I have the second LED I will place here. Now I need some resistors. And here I have to take a look. This is red, red, brown means um, that this is 220 ohms. In the starter kit, you can even find a drawing how you can sh see what a resistor is or what value the, a resistor has. So here I have this two resistors I will need 220 ohms and I will connect them here and there that's maybe a little bit hard to see right and oh I saw I think it was a green one wasn't it here and now there comes my second resistor from here to there. And I need the ground connections I was talking about. So this will be this wire here to the red LED and to the ground of the second LED. By the way, the ground on an LED is called the cassette and the plus leg is called the anode. All right, so now I need the connections to my Arduino board. And the one was the ground, which is here. And now I said it's number 10 and number 11. Okay, I'm done so far. What I need now is the uh, programming code. I So my programming code is here and I uploaded it to the Arduino board. So that's a flip-flop, isn't it? <laughs> okay. This episode was brought to you by fritzing.org, the free and open software for project documentation, sharing and PCB layout creation. Check out our PCB fabrication service Fritzing Fab. With the purchase of Fritzing products, you actively support the development of the Fritzing software. For more Arduino related questions, go to arduino.cc forum. Thanks for watching.
watching.